Hello everyone and welcome back to Pixel Mentor. In today's video we're going to have a look at something that I found again on Facebook group. It's a problem that Mikkel, if I cor correctly pronouncing his name, uh, Mikkel is having with uh, projecting some uh, iris detail to lower his model. So we're going to have a look together how we can help the guy. Again, I'm Chris Espanolo and welcome to Pixel Mentor. So the problem Mikael was having, I hope I'm pronouncing it again correctly, uh, it's baking the normal uh, from a low poly to a, from a high poly to a low poly in Substance Painter. And so he was kind enough to send me like his files, um, he shared with me like OBJ, FBX, whatever. Um, so the first things I noticed, it was that the FBX, the way it was exported from Blender probably, was not working very well with my was giving me some errors so i asked him like to send me an obj when it comes to object itself to just model obj is more than enough majority of the, of the time because you don't need to export any kind of information extra information that can come with your software and also exactly because of that reason usually exporting as an obj it's a good way to clean up your file in a way first things i notice is the scale the position of the object so I don't know if it's coming from the fact that it's Blender or whatever, but it's super small. So first things I did was like rescaling the object in a proper size. I'm assuming this chair could be 50, 60 centimeter wide, something like that. So I scale roughly at that real size scale. I usually use like real size scale because it's always the best way to start and do something. Then if you need it for whatever reason to scale it later, it's easier. Then, so you know that everything is done in the proper scale, you know what I mean? Then I <clears throat> I aligned the pivot at the base of the object, um, centering the scene, and so on and so forth. And then I went to analyze a little bit the model. So right now I'm keeping like the same size and things that was coming with the, with this model. First things I noticed is that also in the low res it was putting like this kind of like bevels, uh, this kind of like a decoration around the, the pillows and, uh, and the structure. And it's a little bit pointless because you are using the baking uh, option to bake these kind of extra details and information. So uh, having it there, it doesn't make any sense. And also it creates you problem when you bake because you're never gonna match the same shape and form. And then you're gonna bake some details on top of some other that is lower. So it's not gonna work. That's, that's long story made short, not gonna work. So if you want to keep it like that, uh, this is the kind of detail you should not bake from the iris to the low res. First things first. Second is, yeah, I get that you're doing the low poly things, but if you go that low poly and you are not following the shape of the object, you're gonna end up with the problem that you were ending up with, uh, having like all the problems with the deformed and uh, bleached kind of um, normal map. I found the file, I mean, like it's quite small, but you can see, I mean, like you have some bleaches, some some stuff like that. So that was the main, the things that it was not, it was trying to understand why it was making these mistakes in the baking. And that could be because of the fact that you have the low res on top of the high res. I mean, like you have that kind of um, geo, plus you have too many low polys, too low polys uh, to bake in the proper way. Also, another problem was the fact that you, um, there were like some problems in the normals, so it was not smoothing in the proper way when it was coming to Substance Painter. In Maya, this kind of function is called locked and unlock normal. So when I unlock normal, you see that it's going into giving me the chance to play with the normal, if it makes sense. So I can smooth the normal of the object, and then again, I can do like a soft and edge, and then I will have like a soft geometry or you can do an average of your um, normals but then it's gonna be like that so it's not what you want point is again it's too low res for baking this kind of information it's not following the proper shape you don't have enough information and overall the topology is not the best in the world already from the iRes I can tell you that this is not a very good way of working in my opinion uh, these kind of interconnecting kind of 
flows of polygons are not like the best things to do. So polygon flows should always follow the main shape of your chair and it's going to make your life easier because if you if you would have model like these IRS with a proper um, loop of polygons and stuff like that, you would not have like that many problems creating the low res to bake the information in. And also, I'm not a big fan of these kind of like uh, flows because as you can see later on, it's creating like this kind of detail that you're going to bring it in your normal later. So when I'm going to bake it in the, in the low res, you're going to have this weird line, this weird line on the back. So this is something that would be big in your normal later on. So pay attention when you do this kind of model because this is not the, the, the proper way. Anyway, uh, with all these things, I worked on the files and I ended up like with a bigger chair. So right size uh, or let's say proper size of um, for your from real world scale, let's say. Um, also, I did like new topology, complete new topology, complete new UVs for this chair and for the cushion and everything. Uh, these are brutally lowered from the iris. Uh, I could have like done better, but I didn't care much about the cushion because it was working quite fine. But I was mainly worried about the main structure. So I retopologized the main structure completely. I redid completely the UVs, so now they are like clean and, and with less deformation possible, uh, split it in the proper way. That being said, the last things I did also was to assign some material. Assigning the material, it's not something that you have to do, but assigning some material or on your low res uh, can give you the chance later on to bake this information as IDs in Substance Painter and then you can easily assign different material based on IDs and also you have your object that will be splitted properly in different materials so you're gonna have one material for the fit, one material for the structure, one for the cushion, one for the for the pillow. In this way if you want to create different material like I don't know leather, uh, cloth, and another kind of leather and wood for the for the feet you're gonna have much more um, it's going to be much more easy, so you don't need to select, you don't need to do anything, it's already split it. So now we are in Substance Painter. I just imported my object, doing like the new project, the usual standard stuff. I will go into the Bake option, and then you can see that I can load like my eye resolution here. So I load my eye resolution, and as soon as I load my eye resolution, you see that I can see these red indicators. This is basically telling us that the, our cage um, max distance is not enough because it's not going to be able to bake those information. How it works, the baking is that it takes this cage, it projected rays from all the angles and catch the eye resolution and project the eye resolution on top of the low resolution. That's why we need this cage to be big enough to project those information. Um, and other things I don't want to bake for, one thing is I don't want to bake for, for all the objects is the ID because I don't have IDs or colors in the high resolution to bake in the low resolution. So there's no make, no sense to, to make it bake to all of them. As you can see, I took like the proper material, like cushion, feet, pillow, structure, the same name that I gave it in Maya. And you can do probably the same in Blender. You assign simple material and you apply them. And what I can do right now is just bake it and that's it can be 4K, can be 2K, let's go 4K, it's not going to take that long. So once the baking is over, you can see that everything has been baked properly. Obviously, it depends on what angle you look at. Uh, things can be more smooth than than some others. Obviously, I can see the angle of this one. When I when I look at this, I can see that I mean, like, the low resolution is visible, but I'm assuming this is like a low resolution things that need to be like used from far away. As I said before, these problems with the normal are being projected from the IRS because the IRS has those kind of issues. So there's nothing you can do other than fix the IRS model. But we can see that you have some problem. We have some problem here. This is because the cage it's baking everything 
uh, on itself. So it's not considering the object by themselves, but it's considering these all chair, armchair, as a one unique object. So it's baking no matter what the information of the pillow also on top of the structure and vice versa. But there's an easy way to fix this. That's the mesh by name. So when you work in Maya, I have remodeled, I have like renamed things in a proper way. So in the armchair high resolution, high poly, I named everything like cushion eye, fit eye, pillow eye, and so on and so forth. Same thing I've done for the same geometry, but in low resolution with the prefix and the, and the suffix, with the suffix, sorry, uh, as indicated by Substance Painter, or I can use my own one and change this one. And as you can see in the matching name, everything is matching correctly. So now if I rebake everything, things should be better. And as I said before, now that we bake separately, we don't have any more of those issue and everything has been baked properly as we expected. So all our maps are there and have like the right information. So workspace normal, IDs is nothing, occlusion, curvature and everything else, thickness and so on and so forth. About the IDs, now what we can do is like disable everything else, remove the eye resolution and just bake the ID. So now if I apply if I apply everything again, now we're gonna bake only the IDs and I want to bake the ID based on, let's say the material color. So if I do the bake texture, now we're gonna have like the same color I assign in my material baked directly into the IDs of our chair. So in this way, now we have the IDs baked, but we also have all the texture set. That is the cushion, that is the feet and everything else. So if I want only the cushion, if I want the feet, if I want so on and so forth. So again, this is like a very simple um, baking. Uh, Mikkel, I hope like this helped you to understand what was wrong in your procedure, in your process. Um, I suggest you again to, to do like a little bit of rework on the IRS and the LORES to make like topology much better than how it is right now and you're gonna see that everything is gonna be much better in, in later on when you're gonna bake and when you're gonna work with it so I hope everything was helpful again and I hope to see you next time so this is Chris Espanolo and this is Pixel Mentor bye